Who they taking? They're taking. What is? Well, let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> My phone is. I'm Come on, baby. Who they taking, over. baby? They're taking. Mm. Stack them up like club sandwiches at that pass rusher <laughs> spot. You know. Yeah. I'm just hoping it's probably not one of these late safeties. It is wide receiver yeah. Sammy Fahoko. Brian just brought him up. Stanford. Good How about that? Brian kid. brought us. Brian like brought us pick. Before. I'm a believer in Fahoko. Mm. Like I this feels really that good. Man, good. Okay. It, 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 he's not the most natural lot of pass catcher, but he's a big athlete who can run. And I'm telling you, special teams coverage is a big reason why I, I like them so much. And so I he was 108 on my board. And what pick is this? 108. 179. So, I mean, wow. I love the value here with Fahoko. Your 16th rate, Fahoko. ranked receiver. Yeah. I have not watched a snap of him. I won't hey, apologize for Foco. it. He's, he's an older guy. Touchdown. He's a retro sophomore, but he's an older guy because he had the religious mission um, before he uh, was at Stanford. But he, big time high school player, like rewrote yeah. the record books there. How in, about in Utah? Just, how about just big? This yeah. guy's yeah. Six, 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 four, four, two twenty two. Uh, yeah. he, he, and if you check his pro day, he was four, four, was three. Yeah, yeah, he's got and, a and, and he, six, four, seven, eight, three cone. Yeah, and I tell you what, he makes some incredible receptions down the field. I mean, I was watching the Washington tape, and they and they're trying to cover him, and it might have even been molded. And it's along the sidelines, and like Molden's all in his body, and he just reaches back with his hand and's falling backwards. Body control catches the ball, gets his foot down, and then Molden's like, "What the heck?" And the Washington bench is screaming, like, you know, they're looking like, "Whoa, he didn't catch that ball." Sure enough, he did. Well, so, Hulko. but there's there's snaps where he is covered, like I said, Six and then ball? he's able to make the play. He's got body control, balance. Ooh. He's able to put himself in position in order to make those receptions. High level of concentration. Ball three. Super reliable, I think, when you watch him play. Might not be the prettiest player, but he makes his share of those so wow ugly. plays. Yeah, he does. And so he's got a clutch gene in his body, I believe, because Bahoka. they're playing UCLA and they're getting killed. And all of a sudden, they throw the game tying touchdown to him, and then they go to him in overtime to get the winner. Yep. So th- this this guy might have that kind of thing when you talk about size. Speed and the ability to go get that football. As you said, if you want to watch him, uh, turn on, watch the UCLA tape. Watch, watch okay. the UCLA game. He wears them out. He had a oh, yeah. Four, four, he three. was targeted quite often in that game. And w- something with receivers that I always pay attention to is what percentage of your receptions resulted in a first down or touchdown. Yeah. That tells me a lot about how you are using the offense and what kind of player you can be for for my offense. Seventy-seven percent of his catches resulted in a first down or touchdown. That is a high percentage. Ideally, you want something at least over seventy. Getting close to eighty is is fantastic. So uh, again, he's an older player. I don't think he's a natural hands catcher. I don't think he's a nuanced route runner. But a big athlete who can play on special teams, and you know he can still uh, develop. I mean, he's he's older, but he's young in football years mm. because again, he missed uh, here. He sat out what two, three years because of the religious mission. So I think you just answered this for me, but it, it doesn't religious. bother you the fact that he only had four starts in his three year Stanford career. Uh, yeah, I mean that, that's that well me. this past season having the or the uh, the shortened year yeah. kind of hurt that yeah. a lot for sure. That that's part of it, and but I mean he he also had a blocked field goal. I, I mean uh, mm-hmm. against UCLA, had sixteen catches. Like when he was on the field, he was productive. Uh, and so yeah, not ideal in terms of snaps played. Ideally, what you want, but uh, I think his best footballs is in front of him. He's going to need to play special teams to make it here, so that makes a lot of sense to me. Which he might put go. Noah Let's Brown on the street. Out. Could well, Stephen Jones said it, and I, I yeah. or Cedric Wilson. I've been you know? driving. I've been driving the Noah Brown bandwagon for a long time, but you know the Cowboys are trying to. Get cheaper. They're trying to replace people. They want these guys to come in and take some jobs. So quarterback got a big check. Yeah, <laughs> no. we guys got to save some cash. Quarterbacks space. making a lot of money. Running backs making a lot of money. Receiver ones making a lot of money. Defensive. I mean, they're all over the place. It makes sense that the wide receiver that you would pick, if he can climb the depth chart, great. But if not, he can make the team and contribute. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's it. Kickoff, trying to block. I'm telling you what, man. This, this guy, he's got the ability. He, I mean, he got to, it, bro. He, he, he got, I think I said that that clutch gene. I, I think there's something about this kid. He's not a kid, but I'm just saying that he, he's got something to his game that when you watch it, you're like going, okay, I see where you're going here. Falco. I, I hope I've said his man name right. Six four 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 guy, uh, high point ball guy, bring the ball out of the sky, uh, like Bro- not Broaders and um, 
or Dane was saying that he don't he's not the nuanced route runner, so I'm quite sure when I look up his tape, I might see him rounding off his routes or you can dictate and see where he's going with the ball on his route. So we'll find out, man. Um if he's a 50-50 guy and he's able to high point the ball, bring it out of the sky guy, red zone guy, end zone guy, then I, I would probably look into that and be like, okay, cool. But like I said before, we got Chris Lacey, who's, who's been battling. Uh, he's on the bottom end of the roster, of course. And you got Cedric Wilson. You got Noah Brown, who I believe was coming on really hard this uh, last season. And then we got uh, Lamb, Amari Cooper, Gallup. I like the little hair coming out of the helmet. You know, the little hair bouncing in the back of the helmet coming out when he's catching those uh, passes there. And I believe he, hey, when you talk about a guy that got a catch radius, I believe that he's going to have that and exhibit and exude that. So that's going to be pretty good. So we come from a, a, a good situation there. So Simi is going to be good for us uh, battling for that role there is on the line. Simi, yeah. first off, congratulations. Thanks for taking some time with us. Just kind of explain the emotions that you're going through at this very moment. Speak up. Do we have Simi. Simi. Do we have Simi on the line? Fihoko! Fihoko! Oh, he hung up. We'll get him back here in just a couple of moments. Have a then. good day, Simi. Congratulations. Glad to have you. <laughs> We'll talk with them. Make teams want them more. And I'd imagine one of those things is special teams. You get Let's picked go. on the third day of the NFL draft and you're coming in to make a football team and start your NFL career. Can you talk about that aspect of the game where it's like, I might need to use this to make the team? Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely. I'd it. say, you know, special teams adds value to you as a player. You know, every everybody in, in the NFL is looking for someone that adds value and um, is able to do more, you know. Not just, not just a one trick pony. So I would say special teams is huge. Um, it adds plenty of value, and I'm sure um, that's part of the reason why why the Cowboys took me as well. So I have I have no problem coming in and, and playing special teams. Which and congrats to me. I'm you know I'm sure that'll be a big part of this for you. But at the same time, I can't help but notice that you're six four and run a four four three, and that's four, fun three. as hell. So <laughs> can, great question, Dave. <laughs> well, just, is it is it that simple? I mean, do you, do you just go downfield and get the ball over guys or what do you think is the best thing about your game as a wide receiver right now yeah i would say that you know given the role i played at stanford i was that guy to take the top off of of the defense and really um Y'all hear that? i was that deep threat um and i feel like that's that's part of my game that i'm I, I feel elite um and i feel like i'll help the cowboys in that aspect obviously they got great receivers um with cd with amari cooper you got you know michael gallup and then you have Dak throwing you the ball so um you know i'm just excited um, just to be a part of the program and and get my opportunity to learn from them and and grow into the receiver I know I can be. See me, I was watching the the UCLA game and you guys were left for dead there. I mean, I, it was amazing. <laughs> I mean, I can imagine you know what was going through everybody's mind is that you know the clock was ticking down, and then you just started making play after play after play. Was it one of those things where you know the, the coaching staff looked at you and you know and Davis looked at you and everybody said, "Hey, you gotta you gotta carry us, bro. You gotta get us out of this thing." Is that is that what happened in this one? Yeah, I mean, it was it was less of the coaches. It was more of you know I went up to Davis. Davis came up to me, and it was it was sort of like, "Hey, like this is us. It's our time to go, mm-hmm. um, and let's do this thing." And you know, obviously, we 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 put on a show here late in the end, but um, we were just like excited game, that that game ended the way it did. You only had a couple of starts during your your college tenure just because of COVID nineteen really throwing a big wrench into things in the Pac twelve and and not seeing a ton of playing time early in your career. How is that going to be spun as a positive for you entering the NFL with relatively low mileage? Um, I'd say you know obviously given you know my you know the stats that I had and things like that I I just would say that you know all it's going to take is repetition for me to to become like. Um, what you saw at UCLA, you know, I'm still I'm that same receiver. I can do that at the next level as well. So um, I'd say just giving me repetition and and you know, obviously the little experience. Once once I get a little more experience in it, uh, we're going to put on a show over in Dallas. Fifth round draft pick, Simi Fajoko, out of uh, uh, the wide receiver out of Stanford, joining us here on the draft show. Simi, thanks so much for taking some time with us. We'll talk to you again soon. 
Thank you. Thank you. There he goes, Simi Fahoko. We finally got him back on the line. Great job yeah. for the behind the scenes crew who have been grinding with us all weekend. Yeah, shouts out to y'all. No by doubt. The way. For the everybody. And I'll, I'll read off the names coming up here in just a little bit of everybody, not only here, but I also love at the it. fan. Three picks away. As well. But let's go ahead and hear from the secret audio from also behind the scenes. Here's what Jerry Jones and Mike McCarthy had sounds. to say as Simi got the call in or ahead. from the Dallas Cowboys. Hi, Simi. This is Charlotte Jones. I'm Jerry's daughter. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Well, I am a fellow Stanford alum, and I just wanted to welcome you to the Dallas Cowboys. We could use some more smart people around here. That's awesome. <laughs> Hold on. That's awesome. Uh, stand by. Here comes Jerry. Welcome to the Jerry. team. Hey, Sammy, we did Let's just go. get smarter. I can tell you for a fact around here. <laughs> I'm 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 sitting here with some. I can't find the door, but we're going. Through. <laughs> awesome. But listen, we are so proud for for you. First of all, that you've uh, had the career you've had, and uh, have all the respect in the world for you for how you've done it, and the and the fact that uh, uh, we're uh, drafting you. But the most important thing, NFL changed my life personally. It changed the lives of everybody you've talked to on the phone here. And, uh, boy, I'll tell you what, you've got to get God's gifts. It can change yours, too. So we just are excited that you're going to do it and be a teammate of ours. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Listen, I want to visit. I uh, want you to visit with Mike McCarthy, our coach. I'm fixing to hand you the phone. But, again, uh, congratulations, and we're handing that card in. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Okay. Here's, here's Coach Mike. Here's Coach McCarthy. Uh, hello, Simi. Congratulations. How's it going, Coach? Uh, it's going great. Are you having yeah. some fun right now? Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of waiting, but I'm, I'm yeah. having fun now. Well, it was worth yeah. the wait. Yeah, man, it was worth the wait. So you'll be, you'll be a great fit for our room and a great fit for our football team. So can't tell you how excited so we are to be able to select you here. So Thank you so much. Thank you. Where are you, where are you right now? Are you back home? Yeah, I'm at home. I'm at home with my family, no, my wife, and, and everyone else. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, congratulations. You're already married. Enjoy, I like that. Enjoy the moment. Thank you so much. Thank All you. Right.